your friend A one thing saying that his name is Fiesta, where you don't move the Ouija board thing, you have the thing move on its own if your hand's on it, so it means it's going through you onto the board answering questions. That's like gambling. If you walk into a puddle, you don't know if the puddle is going to be um, you slipping on it, especially if you're pushing something and not paying attention. That's why Noob Saibot is dangerous. And Kenshi doesn't want to do a fatality of Noob Saibot where he falls into a puddle, but it's like a shadow and it falls into swords, lands on them, and Noob's down there. Uh, that's a sick under, right? It's like a grab because everything just gets pulled down because there's nothing under you. So ostensibly, he's just under you doing this with swords all around him, and that's his grab, and you fatality. If you respect Kenshi, you don't want that to happen. He's a blind swordsman. There's a headless horseman in England called Sleepy Hollow, and so this guy's like a chicken with his head cut off, but he's on top of a horse, and you're gambling if you're riding on a horse and you can't see because you could be blind like this one opera singer. That's famous, and he rides horses, but he's no different than a headless horseman, uh, except he had a pumpkin and he threw it. That was where his head should have been, so that's OP, right? Throwing a pumpkin on fire at people, headless horseman. It's kind of like if you had a Ouija board and you can't make this up, where it said the word fiesta, and it washed you in the shower, and then it had the um, change of your iPod, because I had devices such as Zebra handhelds, not except mine, like, because I was doing something wrong on it instead of doing it accurately, so it was guarding a button for me, um, passing it. That could mean anything, right? But if something's changing on itself, like, and you're not clicking the screen, that's a level above that. So if a Ouija board said it was doing that and named a time where it was happening, that's next level, right? Or if you both, you and your friend, look into a mirror, and one sees, because these guys have told me before, look in the mirror, like on three, and we all did to look at each other's eyes. So kids do this, and so if you both did that, and when the faces look distorted like it wasn't yours, I mean, yours that you remember their face looking like, and they were freaking out, that's something real, right? Because one person said that they woke up and they're staring at them and they don't remember. Never in my life have I not remembered doing something other than blacking out with my friends. This has happened twice, one from a California head rush, one from walking up a mountain at a movie theater when we're in the woods behind them for some odd reason. But it's just no different than not remembering what happened those moments. Someone said that they played with a Ouija board and then at the sleepover, they woke them up and they just woke them up because they felt like they were being stared at and the person was staring and smiling at them. And they wouldn't stop for like 10 minutes. So they just ignored them. I wouldn't ignore them. I would wake them up and like pour water on their head. And if nothing bad happened, imagine if it did. That's just like Frodo going into the farmer's market. The farmer's place and taking stuff. Because he had a ring that got Gandalf gave him. And that made a wraith come after them. So that's where they're hiding. They never saw like the horse. But the wraith rode up on one. So the difference between wraiths on horses and the hobbit. And then um, something in a mirror that you can't remember. And you you snap out of it and like it wasn't you in the mirror. That's pretty realistic, right? No, that's abstract. Just if you've never had a sensation. I have twice where I felt my body like up above a room and I was looking down. Once after I was in the shower and I saw myself having angel wings. And I was just sitting down. A third time when I was meditating. And after those two times, I never have really had that other than in dreams. But dreams aren't real, so they don't even count as experiences when I could actually see with looking down or my eyes closed. My body below me, like, in a meditative state. So I'm glad I stopped both because they were something that shouldn't be happening. I should be able to see the room I'm in. If my eyes are closed or my head's looking down, I'm just crouched above my head. You know what I'm saying? So I can't vouch that it was real because obviously I was in my body, but at the same time, I shouldn't have been able to see the room and above myself. And I kept going up more and more in the, when I was meditating, so that was actually more scarier than the control state where I was just in the shower relaxing with my head down. So...
At least I wasn't moving out of the room when I was above it. Like in the meditative state one. Because that one was actually scary and I had to stop it within like five seconds. Because I didn't know what would happen if I went higher up into the ceiling. Because it stops at like seven feet, you know what I mean? Seven foot ceiling. Is that losing consciousness? Meditating? Haven't done since?